Sky. Were you there for swimming or were you there <laughs> for other things? No, sweetie, we were at the swimming pool every day just waiting for God to deliver you in my head. So <laughs> oh, what do you want okay. me to say? That's weird because you say we definitely say we are never going to contact each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's story. I don't know if that's the right story. I'm now confused. I think you How should look you at the video meet? that... Um... Yeah, but that video is also just from my mind. How did you really meet? No, that was different. Ciao ragazzi and welcome back to Lampis. Before we continue with this video, I just really want to say please excuse the lighting situation in this video is going to be messy. Like, you know, the weather is, I don't know, it's acting more than a pregnant woman. It's like bright, dull, bright, dull and all that comes through in the video. You're going to see that. Today we are going to spill all the juice, all the information, why, how was I trying to trap this beautiful, this cute guy. I was trapping you. How I got you. trapped in this relationship. <laughs> and eight years later you still, I was like, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, you ain't she going nowhere. And you were like, no, 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 I don't want to be in the relationship. I am going to, I, I think you also like. African girl from mm -mm, it's not even going to work. I don't want problem. Definitely going to hate my heart. Broken. No, I was not like that. It was not, it just was not the right time and for to me. meet. To oh, meet. Yeah. So somebody. So you you know it was not the right time to meet. And now eight years later, how do you feel? Do you feel like it was now? no? It was the right time, but <laughs> I was not ready at the time to okay. meet somebody else. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, so. And accidentally, this accidental relationship, eight years old now. Mm -hmm. Do you still feel like? You're not ready to meet the right, the right person. No, baby. I, but of course, <laughs> the things have changed in the meantime. Online dating. Look at Alice explain because it's really against online dating so much. No, I'm not against that. I just think that that wouldn't work for me. But I'm not against anything. I think every chance that you have got in life to get in love with somebody doesn't matter how you need to take it because that is one of the most beautiful things that can happen to you. So Even if just you know, know right. that for me, I'm not really the kind of person that would be doing online dating probably. Oops. But I will, you know, that is now, maybe, I don't know, in the future. In the future, like what you mean? <laughs> in the future, you're going to be only in this relationship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Amen. Mm -hmm. God, please hear my prayer. <laughs> so... Yeah, we were two students at a university somewhere in Germany in a small village, small town or small city in Germany and we were studying, he was studying architecture, I was S all the rest of my life, biology, biology every day. Every single day. <laughs> every single day so and you, we met at the university. You know, actually, you came like two years, no, you came in, in Germany the first time 2010, right? Or 2011? Yeah, end of, 2000, end of 2011. I, I, you came to Germany also in 2011. Yeah. Yeah. End of 2000, September, September 2011. Yes, I came three months before you because I was doing the language course. And the language course. That. But obviously we were studying the same university. We were going to the same university and studying the same state, uh, studying at the, the same sta uh, um, semester. Yes. So everything started in this small town in the middle of Norway in Germany. Oh, it's now home, it's rising, no way, it's Brandenburg, yeah, it's, and we're still it's living Brandenburg, there. Brandenburg, <laughs> I understand, but uh, if you say Cottbus, or even like most German, they, they don't even know No, they Cottbus. know, it's quite, mm -hmm. it's quite, in Brandenburg, Cottbus in is Brandenburg, big. It's big. After Potsdam is Cottbus. Oh, really? Yeah, it's absolute, the biggest city? Absolutely. Oh, after yeah, yeah, Potsdam Brandenburg. is the capital, but after Potsdam, Brandenburg, it's Cottbus. Oh, wow. It's big. Big. Okay, no, it's not big, but I would say, yeah. Anyway, nobody knows about in the, this city, to be honest. And yeah, we were studying there in 2012. I was doing my exchange year, Erasmus exchange year study in Germany and uh, architecture, fourth year, and you are doing your master. I was actually learning how to swim with my friend and I was single for a while already and you know girls talk like you know Lempi what is your type of guy what 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 
And this day we were in the swimming pool with my friend. We would go to the pool, I would say about uh, maybe three to four times per week. And we were just there swimming. And a guy... Were you there for swimming or were you there <laughs> for other things? No, sweetie, we were at the swimming pool every day just waiting for God to deliver you in my head. So <laughs> oh, what do you want me to say? <laughs> okay, so okay. So we were... After... After the lesson, what were you doing? We were, we were given another hour to practice. Ah, That's to practice, so you were practicing. Yes, okay. we were practicing. And, yeah, so a, a, naked, you know, a naked guy walked naked in Naked guy, pool. I was not yes. naked. You were naked. I was not naked. But if I now walk outside uh -huh. the house, the way you... Like you got a swimming pool, <laughs> you have a swimming costume. I just had a triangle swimming costume. Yeah, I was not naked. naked. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were, you were fully dressed. Not fully dressed, no, but I was in a swimming pool. Should I be with a pool? Yeah, you I could also be with a diver suit in a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> so this guy walks in naked, hairy legs, hair everywhere. You were... Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> My teddy bear, everything. Uh, well, <laughs> air, air, air. I don't, I don't, I just have airy legs. I don't hairy have legs. Air. I, really? There are people that I don't have air on my chest, for example. Yes, baby, you have only hair on your legs. Okay. And then you were like, I would say it was almost the same color as I am back in the days. Because, because it, was it was summer. And I don't know, and like I used rusted. to spend a little bit more time outside. <laughs> not like now. And I look so pale. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't know. He just walked in and I said to my friend right away, I like that guy. Mexican. No, I didn't say it. No, I said actually to my friend, you know what? I like that guy and I'm sure he's not German, he's Mexican or somewhere Latin American. And my friend like, if you like him, go talk to him. But I was a little bit shy before I know it. My friend was already Lamping saying, hey. Lampy is shy. Have you ever seen something like that? I don't think that Lampy is shy, but yeah. I just think that you, uh, like, at the time, your friends was like your soldier. Go get it for me, girl. <laughs> I don't know. I was yeah, like, yeah. hey, you know, my name is Huhu, and my friend likes you. Good. Good. No, I'm sorry. It was not really like that. It, it was on, not I, really good. It was, because also, this guy cannot, could, you could really not communicate. You're no, like, I, hey, I couldn't speak I'm, uh, I'm English sand. at all. I know that my English didn't improve much since then, but... At the time, it was really terrible, to be honest. I was barely able to say my name and uh, where I was from, and that was probably 99% of my conversational ability of uh, conversation. My name is, I'm from Rome. I'm from Rome, a small city, 40 kilometers. No, oh, I don't think, no, like, 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 no, maybe you didn't know how to say that much. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you knew how to say your name and you're from Rome. Okay. More details, I remember the next question was, where do you live? Like, where are you living now? And uh -huh. you couldn't answer that one. We only discovered that accidentally you were going, following us to the uni. We no, I was fol not following you. We <laughs> went together, obviously. Mm -hmm. Because you're also from the uni. Are you on Facebook? No, what was that the thing? Yeah. So, where are you from? From no. Raw. Where do you live? No answer for that. It's, it's, pro it's, it's not a problem. Are you on Facebook? So, the thing was, are you on Facebook? Let's just, you know. I was like, please, because my friend is really good. You can tell her one thing, like your name right away, and she's going to remember. It was like, ask the name. Mm -hmm. And then we got the name. I say, ask the Facebook name. What is your name on Facebook? Alessandro Tinari. And was like, I was like, because I'm bad with that. I was like, please mm -hmm. remember, remember that. We remember that. Because I know mm -hmm. with Facebook, you can follow a person. Google Translate is there. Everything is already automatically translated my goodness i think it was like for you it was like fire when you saw me because i don't know <laughs> i don't know you um, met a, gu a, a guy that doesn't speak the language i don't know what was yeah that? you know why it was why? like fire mm -hmm. if you know me also just my personality now mm -hmm. you know if i have done something so many times that i know that's not working when i'm going to do something else i'm going i know it's strange but i'm like I know everything I've been doing before mm -hmm. didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. So definitely something, I, I was in that state, like I have to do something different from what I've been doing before. Okay, I feel at this point of the, um, the story we need to take a little bit of a step back.
to say. Uh, before I met Lempi, I was in a relationship for seven, six years with uh, with an Italian girl, and that um, basically we both won the same Erasmus program, so we were studying still together in Germany. And in the meantime, we just decided to take some time apart. So, and that time apart was already the, uh, lasting more than six months. So I was pretty much that the things was ending and I was heartbroken at the time. I think you should just know, if, some, if I call you today and I say we are taking time apart, what does that mean? What? Yeah. I, I, I don't, what the hell? It's like, it's like if you call your mother and say, I'm taking a little bit of a break from a son mother yeah. relationship. <laughs> what the hell is that? I was I was already in the stage where I knew that I had to move on. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I have cried for so long and I was like, you know, Lempi, now take take a step and move, you know, mm -hmm. fly, start a new life. I was just there, like get in another relationship, it's not the end of the world. So I was open to say I'm gonna be there saying I'm single and I'm ready, ready to, to find mingle. a new person. So I was already in that state, but I think for you, you were in a state still of saying, no, 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 no. I want to be still thinking. I don't know. You no, I was. I was just. I would just wanted to be by myself. To be honest, I oh, wanted okay. to have like um, me time because uh, come on, I met that the, this other ex of mine. I met there when I was like a teenager, it's like 16 years so old. So you wanted to take a break for how many years then? I don't know, I just <laughs> wanted to be a little bit, you know, a little bit more me and not uh, so much in a relationship being myself up and so on, but I didn't really get the chance. For for me, let me put it this way, so when we went to our apartment, or oh, after the pool, it's, it's really weird because we, we, we were swimming together, then we finished, then we went to the changing room, we all changed and then we met again at the hair dryer place mm -hmm. and then we walk out of the pool together and we discover that we are all walking to the university together mm -hmm. amazing and then we went in the same building and you went in the apartment opposite to mine yeah so we, it was like, yeah. we just discovered it was weird because i get two messages at the same time from two different girls and what was your thought I was thought, I don't know, uh, okay, should I look for a threesome? <laughs> oh, so you were open to a threesome, but you're not open to being in a relationship. <laughs> a, a relationship and sex are two different things. Yeah, like uh, A relationship is kind of energy draining, I would yeah. just say, especially when you just... Definitely is energy draining. It's, yeah, especially also if you just came from something that it didn't work, you're like, huh. yeah, but in between, it's just... A relationship you need to give in energy and if you just have like sexual relation with a person then mm -hmm. you don't need that much energy to to take care of the relationship Definitely. so when I say ciao how are you doing and stuff like that your first response was I am NOT interested in a being in a relationship mm -hmm. that's what you wrote back to me and you said I'm not interested to be honest I mean I didn't even say anything I just say hello how are you doing da, da, da. we just like I didn't don't say don't remember did we talk about that yes, on, on Facebook? Facebook yes on Facebook we couldn't even talk any other way we just spoke on Facebook we then never talk about that on, uh, on Facebook we did talk about it on Facebook yeah if you I talked about that on Facebook why then you wouldn't meet her because you said okay that's it the guy that don't want to have no again. yes and you know why and I wrote to you like, I totally understand. I'm just really out also of a bad experience and I guarantee you, I don't want to be in a relationship neither. I'm not mm -hmm. ready for it. And for me, when I wrote that, I felt like this is somebody that I can just have fun with and we have something in common. Mm -hmm. I, I was not ready to be in a relationship neither. I thought, I never thought we are going to be here now. Mm -hmm. Have fun while we're at the university. University was over. You go to Rome, I go back home to Namibia. Or I stay in Germany if I wanted to study further. But I really thought, that's just some fun for now. Can I tell my story? Yeah, because sure. Because you told your story, but there was really little in common on what, what I remember. It seemed like we are dating two different women <laughs> in a relationship. I want to hear your story. So, my story is, mm -hmm. we met at the swimming pool, mm -hmm. okay? So it was after uh, they they did their lesson, they were kind of practicing, but they were in the 
there was it was really nice because there was this swimming pool with the waves, and they were chilling there. I was also there coming after my my training, mm -hmm. and then basically uh, they already checked me, and I saw that they were checking on me when I was in the in the swimming pool with the waves, and then I I moved to the whirlpool, and then I see these two girls that were already looking and laughing at each other and me coming towards uh, the, this uh, whirlpool uh, with the hot water and the bubble and you know they came to me and they asked me oh hi how are you my name is Hu Hu and they present themselves to me then basically uh, after I did really bad uh, bruta figura like I, I couldn't be able to really speak English with them they, they asked me my contact on Facebook yes good then we went back to the the, the student and uh, Wohnung, uh, the student and apartments, and we discovered that we were living in the same building. So I was a little bit confused at the beginning. I didn't know, like uh, I was really thinking, okay, then uh, <laughs> I'm going to have a threesome tonight. Good. Then I remember. Good. You say it's good. I said okay, good because yes, I was not ready for a relationship. But, but a threesome, was, you were not going to miss it. Uh, a threesome, if you uh, get the opportunity, why not? Uh, anyway, then I decided that I was going. Uh, I I was going to. Ah no! I needed to study, so I went. I went to lab the laboratory mm -hmm. where I was supposed to be uh, doing an architectural model. Mm -hmm. And then I continue, and there was some friend of mine there, or I remember. And then I said, "Oh, uh, uh, guys, I just met these two girls. They are chatting on me." On Facebook, but, but I, I really focus on my study. Yeah, no, I, I just said uh, I really I supposed to, to do this model for tomorrow, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. They are like just asking me if I we can meet uh, in the evening, and I don't know what should I do. Should I invite both of them? Should I invite one of or them? Should I study? Uh, and they said you are crazy. What are you doing here? <laughs> just go back and meet these two girls. Friends, who are supposed to help you pass yeah. university? They say leave from her. Yeah, but let me I got you. The guy says up to this and that and that. Take it further. <laughs> Take like? it further. Okay, then I said okay. You should come. Uh, you should come by. Pass by around um, nine and um, I don't know. I have. Did I prepare food for you? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Because also on, no. on Facebook we were chatting about things that I, I find it a little bit uh, comic now because I was asking her about what a kind of animal you can find in Namibia. Yeah, that was a lame conversation. How I you are admit. very lucky mm -hmm. to have me here today because honestly, who meet somebody for the first time and you want to talk about animals in Namibia. You know, I was those curious. Information, you can find them on Google without directly asking. I was, I was doing all, I think I was uh, ex, uh, meeting all the stereotypes that uh, that an European has so about, about Africa. Africa. Ah, okay. So I was, I was asking about, ah, uh, yeah, what, what kind of food do you eat? I was like, uh, animals, nice. do you have animals roaming around at the village? <laughs> all this kind of you were nice and you look so innocent I was, I was not like I'm going to kill you <laughs> I was like okay, uh, okay. so I, after that uh, I invited her and she came and she came in a pyjama and I was like okay in a pyjama is that not a sign? a yeah, sign of what? I don't oh. know. <laughs> Wait, if, if somebody show up in pyjamas in a girl in mm -hmm. pyjamas in your room what is that not a sign like in no. a pyjama, not it's really. Not a sign. <laughs> no, I don't so know. if I showed up in jeans, I don't know, overall something, is that then a sign if I saw up in jeans? I don't know, maybe. What is a sign that did to you? No, mm, no, really. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I, it was really lame because we discussed this, we discussed it with Google Translate, so we were from <laughs> both in Damn. front of the computer <laughs> and everything that I wanted to ask or I we was wanted to talk in by about. things you showed me that night. Ah yes, like uh, because she was showing me, I remember <laughs> she was showing me that in Namibia you eat uh, mopane worms, which I found it really um, uh, strange. But I, then I I remember that also in Italy there is a cheese that we are a traditional cheese in Sardinia that has also some worms so I was showing her that uh, we also have uh, this cheese with worms and we are eating it so there is some similarity you know yeah, but <laughs> between for Italian me, and Namibian culture. That